Hi, I'm Christine Tizzard. I'm the Three Way Chef, and today I'm gonna show you three easy ways to use up all that delicious leftover turkey. I mean, look at this. I need to use it all up, and it's so good. I mean, I could also just eat it like this, which is totally fine as well. Mm. First recipe, turkey and chorizo quinoa stir fry. I'm going to start with my pan over a nice medium high heat. I'm gonna render my chorizo first. I'm just gonna put some canola oil in my pan. I want a nice neutral flavored oil for this. And also I find oils like canola, they have a high smoke point, which is uh, great when you want to fry something at a really high heat. So I'll add my chorizo. And I'm just gonna render this down a bit. So I wanna cook this over a medium heat probably for about three to five minutes. What I wanna do is I want to get some of that fat to start to release. And this is also going to color our oil into a nice orange color. So we'll let that go for a little bit, let that get browned, and then we'll add some other ingredients. The oil is already starting to change color, which is great. I'm gonna add my onions. This is about a half an onion. And I'm also gonna add some garlic, which I'm just gonna great right over top. That's why these microplanes are amazing. And we'll give that a stir. I just want the onions to soften slightly. Same with the garlic. So now that's softened, which is perfect. I'm gonna take my pan, make sure I don't burn my fingers. I'm just gonna transfer this over while I continue with my stir fry, because we'll add this in after. Get all that beautiful chorizo flavored oil out of there, perfect. I'm gonna add some more of our oil, coat the pan, and in goes our quinoa. So great, leftover quinoa. I always have leftover quinoa. I'm looking for something to do with it. This is what you do with it. You stir fry it. This is two cups. You get your pan really nice and hot, which is great because it's gonna crisp up the quinoa. And that's what you wanna listen for is like I can hear, I can hear it almost popping, which is perfect. I'm gonna salt and pepper it. I'm going to add in some red pepper, nice burst of color. It's about half of a red pepper. I'm going to add in my kale. So this is about two cups of black kale. My chicken or sorry, it's turkey. Leftover turkey, my leftover turkey. Nice big cubes. We can give that a toss. We're gonna add in all of that beautiful chorizo and that chorizo oil and those onions and garlic and mix it all through. And all I wanna do now is heat it all through. Everything's pretty much well pre cooked. We use leftover quinoa, we used leftover turkey. I mean, look at that, it took no time at all. It just all came together. I'm gonna get a fork. I just wanna taste it to make sure I don't need any more salt or pepper. The other thing you could do is even like add a splash of soy sauce at this point in time if you like that kind of flavor. As I'm blowing quinoa everywhere. Mmm. I can really taste all those chorizo flavors which is great with the turkey. So that's done. Perfect dinner for a family of four. So my second recipe, of course, has to be a turkey sandwich. And this is the turkey sandwich of my childhood. So to me, I consider this a really great East Coast new feet turkey sandwich, something that you can really sink your teeth into. So I have two nice pieces of white sourdough, some kind of bread that's like nice and chewy and, and just like really, really fluffy. To that, I'm gonna add just a little bit of mayo. So I have this here, which I'm just gonna layer right on top. I even like getting some uh, of the skin in there too, if you can, some of that like crunchy little bits of skin. We'll just layer that right on top. Look at that, that is just beautiful. Now I grew up calling stuffing dressing and we used to do these thing called chips dressing and gravy. So to me, it makes total sense to put dressing, leftover dressing or stuffing on my sandwich. I'm gonna put 
put that right on top too. So this is a very traditional dressing. I have my onions, my savory, my sage in there, my, my celery, everything. So I'm just gonna throw that right on top along with leftover cranberry sauce, which is gonna give us a nice burst of flavor. Just kind of coat it all over there. And then I'm gonna finish it because I'm gonna grill this sandwich, so I'm gonna put some Swiss cheese on there. So I just layer this up. Nice Swiss cheese, fold up that sucker, and now I'm gonna get it on the grill. So let's go over here. So I have my little grill pan here, which is great. I got it cranked up to a nice medium heat. I just wanna oil the grill really quickly, just in case anything sticks. And then I'll also brush it on. Place that turkey sandwich on there. And I have a little grill, grill press, which is great. And just push that down. So now all I have to do is wait for some perfect grill marks and for all that cheese to get all ooey gooey. Flip it. Oh, perfect. Look at that. It looks so good. Oh, it smells fantastic as well. Sandwich is all done. Amazing. Let's slice into this sucker. Oh, it's so good. There you have it. The perfect turkey sandwich with all that melted Swiss cheese. The dressing, the dark meat. Mm. That's so good. So guaranteed if it's around the holidays or it's fall or winter, you have a bunch of these lying around. Maybe you have a squash lying around somewhere. I mean, you can find all these little mini squashes in the grocery stores. There's great, there's spaghetti squash, uh, kabocha, little mini pumpkins, acorn squashes, which I'm gonna be using today. So I'm going to take these little mini squashes, I'm gonna cut them in half and I'm gonna stuff them with leftovers, leftover turkey to be exact. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to roast these squashes. So I've cut them in half and I'm gonna brush them with a little bit of canola oil. This is just gonna help prevent it from sticking to the bottom. So give them a good brush. Salt and pepper. I've preheated my oven to 450, nice high temperature. These will go into the oven probably about 30 minutes. You're just looking for them to be fork tender. I mean, depending on the size of the squash, sometimes it'll take a different roasting time. So let's pop these in the oven. So over here, I have some that I roasted ahead of time. You can see how they still stay intact. They're nice, they're fork tender, and we can start stuffing these. So I'm just gonna put them aside. What I did earlier was I cooked a bunch of wild rice. This is like a wild rice mixture. So this is gonna be one of the bases for a stuffing mixture. To that, I'm gonna use leftover stuffing from my Thanksgiving turkey. So let's just put about a cup of that in there. We can mix that through. I want to add a little bit of crunch, so I diced up some red pepper, about half a red pepper. I'm going to add my leftover turkey, just small cubes, about a cup, and then some walnuts, just a quarter of a cup chopped walnuts. Lots of different textures in here, which is great, and it's going to really complement the softness of that acorn squash. I'll add a little bit of pepper little pinch of salt, and I'm also just gonna oil this up a little bit. Oh, as I drop things all over the place. There we go. So let's fill these up. You could also, if you had leftover roasted vegetables from the night before, just throw them in there. And now these go back in the oven. I just wanna heat everything through and kind of crisp up the topping a little bit. You can just put your oven on broil, just watch it for a few minutes, and then you have like two perfect meals, all stuffed and a little squash. 
So there you have it, leftover turkey, three different ways. I just pulled these stuffed squashes out of the oven. You know what would be really great on top of these squashes is some leftover gravy. Yeah, use up that leftover gravy. Like, subscribe, I love your comments. I wanna hear from you and if you have any recipes or ingredients you want me to do three ways, you let me know.